Mounted Horse Coalition estimated there is 170,000 unwanted horses in the U.S. Hope Equine Rescue is devoted to the care and placement of unwanted, abused, and neglected horses. Today, I'm here at their rescue location to witness myself, the caring and compassionate workers and volunteers that have changed the lives of these beautiful creatures for a lifetime. The Hope Equine Rescue is a nonprofit organization founded in 2008 by Danny Horton and the Horton family. Their first rescue was a horse named Hope. Hope was tied to a tree with a dog chain and was left to starve in a neighborhood. With an operation large in size, it is important to have volunteers that love the cause just as much as the founder. Volunteers are used to work events, fundraisers, clean stalls, groom horses, and occasionally go out on rescue calls. The only requirement is to fill out a volunteer paperwork and sign a release. These horses have been through a rough time. That is why they need a caring and loving individual. That is why adopting is an option here. As long as you are dedicated to the caring of a horse and can provide food, shelter, water, and veterinary care, you can qualify. Their goal is simple, to provide for these horses when no one can and will. Neglected horses go through much pain and stress. But luckily, there are places like Hopi Kind Rescue that make it their priority to change your lives forever. If you want to visit or volunteer, they are located at 3805 High Street, Winter Haven, Florida, 33881. And their number is 863-287-7503. Come make a difference today. I'm Dominique Amansan, reporting for Ignition TV. I got an A. Hello, Mexico. <gasps> a B? Another B? I mean, it's not bad, but it's just a B. Boring, bland, blah. Everyone seems to be great at this Spanish thing, and all I can say is, hola, como estas? I want an A on my next test, but I just don't know how to get there. Actually, I know the perfect person that can help me. Rainy is an expert on learning language tips, so let's head on to her. I'm super excited for today's sport. It's tennis, my absolute favorite. Exercise is very important, especially on a sunny day like this, it's necessary to go out there and get some exercise. Exercise has many benefits. It helps with stress, depression, just naming a few. My friend Landon has a segment all about the benefits of exercise, so let's swing on him. Lunch is super important. In our school lunches, they provide us with all the proper nutrients to stay healthy and maintain a healthy diet. The food plate contains fruits, vegetables, dairy, and protein. Jaden has a word on the street asking students around campus their favorite go-to lunch meal. So let's head on to him. I successfully survived another day of high school. I learned many tips on language learning, so I'm definitely going to get an A on my next test. Ben had a super fun day at PE where I played my favorite sport and learned the importance of physical education. Ben enjoyed a delicious school meal. Only 175 days of school left. I got this. I'm Dominique Armansan, signing off for Ignition TV.
I think it's B. Attention class, listen up. Tomorrow is semester finals. Make sure to study as much as you can. This test is important. Let me remind you, this counts for 10% of your grade. Man, another test? I'm getting really tired of them. I totally agree with you. These tests are so tiring and useless. You really think so? I know so. Just take a nap for now. You look super tired, Dominique. Yo, Dominique, wake up. The bell rang. Yo, what's your problem? Nothing. You're about to be late for a fifth period. Okay, well, you should have told me before it rang, not after it did. Sorry. You listened to me when I told you to slack off. So now I'm you. How exciting. Wait, <laughs> wait, no. FFA, otherwise known as Future Farmers of America. In this class, students benefit from many lessons, not only in agriculture, but also in teamwork, leadership, and much more. FFA here at KHS strives to be the very best, winning competitions on a district and a national level. Good morning, Kathleen. I'm Dominique. Now let's take to the field and see what these future farmers are working on. offers a career development program known as CDE. These opportunities help participants in everything from forestry to mechanics. But FFA is not just for those who want to be production farmers. FFA also welcomes those who aspire to be teachers, doctors, business owners, and much more. Many awards and degrees are achievable through this class. One of which is the American FFA degree, which is awarded to an FFA member who has demonstrated the highest level of commitment to FFA. Today we dove into the world of FFA, learning what it takes to be part of this wonderful community and the lessons learned along the way. If you're interested in FFA, visit their website at ffa.org. Reporting for Ignition TV, I'm Dominique Almanzan. <laughs> 